On Sunday afternoon, 11 November 1956, while America celebrated Veterans Day, the B-58 taxied to the takeoff position for its first flight. 14.39 hours, the chase planes released their brakes, cut in their afterburners, and took to the air. The B-58 released its brakes and began the takeoff roll. Afterburners were not used. The B-58 was airborne at exactly 1441 hours after a ground roll of approximately 3,300 feet. Air speed at takeoff was 160 knots. The takeoff was routine and the climb was steady. Climb was then made to 20,000 feet where the airplane was felt out at a speed of 0.7 Mach. At 15.19 hours, exactly 38 minutes after takeoff, the B-58 settled on the runway to successfully complete its first flight. Of course, this is only the beginning. There will be many hours of grueling flight tests for the B-58 before it can be properly appraised as a weapon for the U.S. Air Force. But based on the first flight, it is reasonable to predict that the Convair supersonic B-58 will write a new chapter in America's mastery of the skies.